Well hello, it's been a while since I made a video, but I've been quite busy working on something new, a service. And I hope to tell you a little bit more about that over the next few videos. It's involved building a new image analysis PC, which I'll cover again in one of the videos, but it's also involved me working with our department's new supercomputer, which is called Mars. So it's not untrue that I've been working on Mars recently. Now, I've been using Elastic to train neural networks uh, for image analysis purposes. And what I want to do today, very briefly, is to just introduce you to using Elastic and show you why I think it's absolutely essential that you have the Elastic plugin for ImageJ and Fiji. So let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing is you need to have the Elastic plugin installed. And when you do updates on ImageJ, Fiji, uh, once it's completed, you will have the option to manage your updated sites. And if you scroll down, you should find Elastic as one of the options here. And you can add that. All right, once that is installed, if you go to the plugins menu, right down the bottom, you'll find Elastic. And there are a bunch of options, which include import HDF5. That's the file format that Elastic will default to exporting as. And that's why we need the Elastic plugin. Okay, so when you run Elastic, it's going to look like this once it starts up. And the first thing we're going to do is a pixel classification. So we're going to train a network based on pixel intensities. So we'll choose pixel classification. We will give it a name of, let's see, nuclei pixels and we'll put it in my machine learning models folder and we'll save that. And once we've completed this classification, when we quit Elastic, when we save the project, that project is in effect the, the trained network. Now we need to load in an image. So let's load in a new image. Um, let's just take this one here. We've got a, um, an image which has bright nuclei and dark backgrounds. So we'll use a feature selection option next. Uh, let's just zoom this up and we'll select the features. Now Elastic can use color and intensity, edge detection filters, texture filters at different resolutions. Um, well, let's not go into that in detail today other than just to let's select all of the features. So let's let Elastic use everything that it's got to help us to train our network. Now, if we had lots and lots of images, then by selecting everything, every type of filter, it would be a large processing job. I'm not fussed about that because I have a relatively small number of images for this particular application. So let's just select everything. Okay, now we need to train our network. And this is simply a matter of, I'll zoom the image up, simply a matter of labeling what's background and what's the object that we're interested in. So let's call this color our background and this color our nuclei. And we simply just paint on the image. So that's background, this is background, that's all background. If I select a nuclei, that's a nucleus, that's a nucleus, and here. So really it's just working on intensity, pixel intensities. Right here. And the more you select backgrounds and various objects, then the more accurate your network selection, your network training will be. Oh, done that wrong. Let me just rub out that label and that label. Actually, it's quite useful to make a mistake so that it reminds me to show you how to change from the eraser to a paintbrush. Okay, we're back on track. That's a nucleus, that's a nucleus, and that's background, and that's background. Okay, let's see how it's doing. If we choose live update, you'll see that it has a good guess at what what it thinks I want in terms of background and uh, objects. 
I think it's doing a fairly good job there. If I was to just help it a little bit and say, no, that's background, you'll see it's changed very slightly there. And the more you add in labels, then the more accurate it becomes. All right, so let's take the live update off and let's look at the su suggested features. Now, Elastic will suggest some features that it thinks are probably sufficient to train the network. Um, it's selecting just seven features here. So let's just run the feature selection based on seven that um, Elastic thinks is fine. So that's it, seven, but here are the ones I've chosen, which are all of the features. Now, I think that's a bit big, and I'm going to stick with my user-selected feature set. So we'll select that. Okay, so that's more or less it. If we go to the prediction export now, well, first of all, what we'll do is with this image here, we will export the result. And if I go to my window where I have the, the nuclei in here, here's the result. So it was ADV image 3 and here is the result. Now I can't just simply drop this in to Fiji because it doesn't recognize that HDF5 type of file. But I can go to my plugins, go to Elastic, import HDF5, browse for that image. There it is there. Open it up, click OK. Bump, and that's us into Fiji. Now this is not a, this is not a, a segmentation. This is a probability map. Okay. And as you run the mouse over the, the image, it gives you some values for probability. You would have to um, segment that image yourself. Now let's just try this image here. So the, the network hasn't seen ADV4, but let's go back here and we'll go to batch processing this time. And we'll select a, a file that it hasn't seen, in this case, ADV4. We'll open that one up select it, process it. And if I go back to my folder, now it's done number four. So here's the results of, oops, here's the results for number four. That oh, doesn't recognize that because it needs to be imported using the Elastic plugin. We go to Elastic, import HDV5, HDF5, this is the image I want, open that up, there we go. And there's its prediction. So let's just bring the raw image in. So there's the raw image beside the prediction. Now bear in mind that that was a very, very rudimentary uh, training network and the more time you spend training the network then the better Elastic will be. Now one last thing to say about Elastic before signing off here is that I would recommend that you go to, let me just get this up on a browser, the Bioimage Zoo at bioimage.io here, in the bioimage model zoo, are around about 50 different trained networks that you can load into Elastic. Um, I've tried a few of these, they're really good, but for the most part I find sometimes that you need to train your own networks. Okay, I think that's enough for this very brief introduction. I wanted to keep it down to five minutes, it looks like I'm at around about nine minutes. But you can see there, you can very quickly train a network, get a result, load the results into Fiji, and there are already trained networks uh, that already exist.
Okay, I'm going to come back over the next few videos, I think, and go into this in a little bit more detail. And of course, show you my brand new PC that really only just completed. And it's a beauty. See you next time. Bye.